keeping that to the hangman. You did the right thing, honey. I learned two valuable lessons a day. Never trust a pretty girl or a lonely midget. They got him. They got Evil Roy. They captured him and half his horse. Wake me up in time for the hanging. The rope will wake you up. <laughs> i tell you something you don't know. It was Flossie who squealed on you. All my pupils learn good. Yeah. <sighs> tell you something else you don't know. I think Flossie likes me. Good. She likes it when you blow in her left ear. Yeah? Ah, Clifford! You did a right fine job. You managed to keep up with the posse during the entire capture. Flossie! Mm. What are you doing here with my uncle? She's with the firm now. Public relations. Mm. What have you got to say about it? She likes it when you're blowing her left ear. Public relations. Ah, it's amazing how quickly you catch on. <laughs> Ma. Well, Mr. Slade. We finally meet up after all. Who are you, Squatty? I am Western Express. Your gang cost my company over a million dollars, shot over a hundred of my men. Do you know how many widows there are in Western Express? Our company picnics are depressing. Slade, have you ever seen 30 widows in a sack race? It's the most... Don't point your knuckle at me, short stuff. Roy! I'm here, Roy! Here comes Miss Holier Than Thou. With you. Oh, Mr. Stool, your word could go a long way towards getting Roy pardoned. Pardoned? <laughs> yes. If we prove he was a victim of society, a deprived child, then I know we can convince the jury not to hang him. Can you couldn't convince the jury to stop laughing, honey. <laughs> well, I know we'll have to serve a little time, but with my love and psychiatric help... That's a good thought, dear, but forget about it. This territory wants Slade's blood. Clifford! Yes, sir? Clifford! Tickets, please. Tickets. Two good ones right on the aisle down front for the hanging, dear. We're gonna have some entertainment right after it, too. Clifford, you did hire the accordionist, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. Hanging? Yes. <laughs> You're not giving him a fair trial or anything? Yeah, we're gonna give him a fair trial, dear. We even got him a real judge. Judge Lowe! Oh, he's guilty. I am. Roy, what have I done? I've thrown you to these jackals. Don't you worry about it, honey. It's getting harder all the time to tell the good guys from the bad guys. I forgive you. Get her out of here, Clifford. Come on, move her. Oh, Roy, I love you. Get her out. Dude, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to spoil that little party of yours. What do you mean, spoil my little party? Well, now I know my sweet dumpling really loves me. There ain't a power on earth to keep me inside this cell. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, all right, huh? Let me tell you something, Slade. We're gonna have ourselves one fine hanging. We're gonna have rides and balloons. Yeah, we're gonna have a couple of preliminary hangings before the main event. And my company's gonna make all the profits. I'm even gonna start a publicity campaign that you're having a feud with a hangman. So we'll have a bigger gate. What do you think about that? <laughs> you know something, Stu? What? I think you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid that I'm gonna put one of my most trusted agents in charge of you to watch you. Clifford? Yes, Unc? Tie Custer in front of this here cell. <laughs> Hey, Lou, you, you bringing your wife to the hanging tomorrow? She bet. She's packing a big lunch for me and the kids, and we're coming over right after church. <laughs> All right, folks, get him before they're gone. Genuine Evil Roy Slade hanging dolls. Yes, sir, fully equipped with the head that comes right off for the hanging. Hey, hey, you want one? Hey, Slade, you want home, I brought someone to see you. A man in a dress? What do I want to see a man in a dress for? This is a priest. Oh, <laughs> a priest? I ain't never seen one before. Sorry, Mother. Uh, it's Father. Oh, 
That dress keeps throwing me off. Would you like to confess your sins before you die, my son? <laughs> I ain't got any intention of dying. Come on in. I'd like to get a few things off my chest before I marry Betsy. I figure I didn't commit any real big sins till I was about four years old. Let me out of here! I can't take it anymore! I ain't even up to my 21st birthday. Tomorrow's the big day, Slade. Thousands of people are coming to your hanging. We sold every seat. Every hotel room in town is full. I always was a crowd pleaser. Right this way, gentlemen. Right this way. Who are all them? These are the heads of wax museums from all over the world. Mr. Stool is selling them statues of you. He's got that stubby index finger and a lot of pies. Get the, the profile here. And some of my teeth. <laughs> hey, Clifford, ain't you gonna untie my hands for my last meal? <laughs> Nothing doing. Now you shut your evil mouth. I'm trying to figure out what hat to wear when I lead you to the gallows. Oh, that one looks good, but don't match my horse. I'm going to show you the file I keep on all my employees. <laughs> I learned two valuable lessons today. Never trust a dumb nephew or a slobbery bulldog.